Our next question is what size oxygen absorber do I use for my food storage container? And the answer to this question is not an easy one. I will give you kind of general guidelines of what I go, but this is definitely a food by food basis. Uh, it depends a lot on the, uh, the amount of air volume and oxygen that this a particular food can hold. It depends on the amount of available space in the container or jar or bag that you're using. But as a general guideline, I would, for a quart size Mylar bag, I would use a three to 500 cc is perfect. We sell 500 cc oxygen absorbers at freeze drying supplies because I think to me that is about the perfect size. It's always going to do the smaller containers or bags and if you need extra, you just add an additional one. And with that said, it is always better to overdo it than to not have enough. A lot of times an oxygen absorber, even if the container or the bag fails in some, some sense, if it has a, a pinhole in it or if your, uh, your seal breaks or something on the jar, a lot of times an oxygen absorber can hold the, uh, the amount of oxygen out of that container, even in a compromised state. A lot of times it can, uh, it can fend that off for a year or two or sometimes even more. The extra oxygen absorber size is always going to be able to uh, keep your food safe for at least a little bit longer. Hopefully in, the, in that meantime, you can figure out that there is a problem and repackage it or uh, redo it or consume the food. And our last question today, can I reuse oxygen absorbers? Unfortunately, you cannot reuse them. Once they've been exposed to oxygen for a certain amount of time, just depending on what size, a lot of times that's anywhere from 15 minutes to half an hour to an hour for larger ones. There's no more chemical reaction and they will not, re they will not remove oxygen from a bag or container anymore. So they need to be discarded. I really hope that you find this Q&A series helpful if you're a new freeze dryer or if you're an advanced and experienced freeze dryer. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. This is gonna be a new take on what we do on this channel, but really trying to improve the freeze drying community as a whole by educating in the meantime, this is the freeze drying community. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also check out all of our freeze drying resources. You can find those down in the description of this video. Until next time, happy freeze drying. Hey, you. Are you unlocking your full potential as a freeze dryer? If you're not signed up for the freeze drying community email list, you're missing out on pro freeze drying tips and freeze dryer giveaways, the latest sales, inspirational people in the freeze drying community, as well as invaluable food storage recipes. And most important, unlocking your inner freeze drying guru. Click the first link in the description to get signed up.